Good morning, my name is Steve Spicer, and this is a brief economic update, uh, particularly on the housing markets. Uh, we just came out of election year. This is today, it's December 21st, 2016, and uh, now that the Electoral College has completed its votes, a lot of people wanted to wait to see what happens before making a decision on purchasing a home. One of the things to keep in mind is that the feds did just recently increase the interest rate, the prime rate, just slightly. Uh, and it can have a positive effect in a lot of areas. Uh, in the housing market, what we've seen is over the last year is an increase from last year's average of about 3.3, which is a historical low, to right now in today's market, on average, it's running at about 4.3. Now keep in mind the interest rate that you get can be affected by a number of factors. Your credit score, your debt to income ratio, your income, and uh, you know, whether or not you want to buy down the rate. So with that being said, however, if you were to purchase a $250,000 house a year ago, you would have been looking at a payment of about $143 less than you do now. What does that mean? Well, in a nutshell, if you've been kind of on the fence about making a home purchase, interest rates are going up. So, as a buyer, you may want to go ahead and get off the fence and make a move before they continue to rise, because a change in $143 might affect how much house you can purchase. If you're a seller and you've been contemplating getting on the market, you might want to go ahead and consider getting your house on the market because there will be an increased demand for homes starting probably early 2017 and definitely into the spring as buyers are going to try to race to not get affected by the increase in interest rates. My name is Steve Spicer. If you've got any other questions, feel free to reach me at stevespicerrealty.net or give me a call at 832-377-7461 and we'll set up a personal consultation for you to meet.